We started off Monday by having some conversations with classmates. We're going to continue that on Tuesday, but we're going to need to have 10 different conversations, answering 10 different questions, talking to 10 different classmates, all related to fashion and shopping. It's important that you record all of your conversations because we'll need that to capture some direct quotes from what some of your classmates said. So once we finish uh, basically having 10 different conversations with our classmates, we're going to go into Notion and create a table. And you can go in and just create a personal page in your Notion account. You can use your app on your phone or you can uh, go into a browser and uh, open up Notion within a browser. But to create a table from a PC, you simply hit the forward slash and type the word table, it's like table. You can add and remove columns as you need to. Cell phone, for example, there should be a plus symbol at the bottom of your screen, which will give you a drop down menu and from there you should see a an option to add a table and what you're looking for is one that says just table there are some other types of blocks that you can add that some might say table view uh, but you're just interested in the table option only and that will provide a table that i'm showing like i'm showing here so in our table we we need to have four rows five columns in the first column, we're going to list three key points, and then we'll have five columns here that will include direct quotes. So the idea is using the recordings, going, going back and listening to what some of our classmates said, the idea here is to create three key points that you want to mention in your video and find direct quotes that relate to those key points. Now, the main points can come from individual questions or, and or the main points can come from any combination of the questions that were asked. So you could create your own main point or mix or combine some ideas, some keywords coming from a variety of questions. Or again, you can simply choose one question per key point. Now, because we only have five columns here, the idea is that you reflect, go back and listen to the conversations that you had and choose the five best conversations or the five best quotes from those conversations that support each of the three main points. So there's going to be information that you have that you're not going to need to include in the video uh, from your recordings. So we do want to be selective. We want to not only find the best quotes to support each main point, but also reflect on things maybe you mentioned that are are good uh, or supportive of these main points as well. So you're essentially looking for the best conversations that are going to support these main points. So in the when you're quoting someone here under each of the direct quotes, we want to include word for word what the person said. And then in parentheses after, you can include the person's first name only. Note here that I've included the direct quotes to indicate that this is, in fact, a direct quote. So I would include the quotation marks for each of the quotes. And again, you're going to need five direct quotes to support each of the key points. You'll need to find one podcast episode, and I've included a list of some potential podcast episodes that you might find interesting. But you're looking for one podcast episode related to at least one of the main points that you can mention later in your video. So what you're looking for and what you're listening for are some direct quotes that you can mention in your video that again support each or one of the main points. It's not necessary that you have that you support all three main points with your podcast episode, but do include or do find uh, some direct quotes that support at least one of the main points. Once you have completed this part of the task, once you have your podcast episode, you've completed, you've completed your table, then I would like for us to have a brief conversation so that I can provide some feedback. I can hear how you're planning on preparing for your video and again, offer any uh, feedback uh, if necessary. 
Then prepare the five to six minute uh, video. Again, making sure that you include direct quotes from your classmates. We're going to use reported speech to do that. Use reported speech to mention what you said, but it's not necessary to quote yourself. So you can paraphrase what you said, but direct quote what classmates said all as it relates to the main point or each of the three main points. And remember, at least one of the main points, we need to have a direct quote coming from the podcast episode. So that will need to be included also in the five to six minute video. For this week, I want you to create the video in Microsoft Teams, and I've included a link to the Teams channel where I would like for you to create the Teams uh, video. And I've included a video here or a link to a video that also explains how to do that. This is something we can talk about in class if you need further clarification on how to do that. It's probably best to do this on a PC. If you go to Caddy, you can go and you have access to some uh, computers there if you need. And um, you can create the video directly in Teams and then you can share the link and submit your Teams assignment as we have uh, done in the past. All right, so this is going to be our task for week 11. We're going to be working on this in class on Tuesday uh, and Wednesday if necessary. And I'll be uh, in class to answer any questions that you might have. I look forward to seeing your videos.